Hey everyone, Coin Metallurgist here. Hope you're all doing well. Similarly to how I did uh, a video on zinc coins last week, I want to do a little video today on aluminum coins. Um, hoping to give a little bit better content than I did last week. Um, so what I want to do is I want to talk a little bit about kind of the history and the origins of aluminum coins. Um, and then we're going to do a little experiment to kind of show the corrosion properties of aluminum. So um, like most metals, aluminum is not um, found as a pure element in nature. It's um, as an oxide or in an ore. Um, and aluminum proved pretty difficult for um, people to figure out how to get the metal out of the ore. Uh, but they did finally figure out a process to do so um, starting in 1854. But the process was pretty difficult, so aluminum was still really expensive and pretty rare. Um, it's even said that Napoleon III would serve his most honored guests with aluminum forks and spoons, while the others would have to settle for silver or gold utensils, which seems very strange to us today because aluminum is now um, a quite cheap uh, metal, especially as compared to silver or gold. Um, but later on, um, I think uh, it was 1886 that they finally had a breakthrough and they were able to produce uh, aluminum metal in a lot uh, cheaper and more um, productive um, and practical process. Um, and I looked into it a little bit and I was looking on Numista um, and I was just searching for like aluminum coins, trying to figure out when did they start making coins out of aluminum? And there were some coins here and there that were like pattern coins or some tokens um, earlier on. But the first ones I really saw were in 1907 um, when the British had a one-tenth penny uh, for the British West Africa that was made out of aluminum and a one-cent coin in East Africa that was made out of aluminum. So that's 1907. So that was only like 110 years ago um, that they started to make coins out of aluminum. Um, so, um, just a little bit about kind of the corrosion of aluminum. The reason why it doesn't exist in nature as a pure metal is that it is so easily oxidized. So it wants to uh, combine with oxygen in the air and, and form an oxide. And the only reason that um, anything that we make out of aluminum doesn't just kind of dissolve or like when it ra get rains on it, it just dissolves into the atmosphere and into the solution um, is that aluminum forms essentially a protect, protective layer of corrosion. So let me explain this a little bit. So essentially all, everything made out of aluminum, including coins, has an aluminum oxide layer, a very thin layer. And that layer of oxide, um, which we could equate to like rust on, an, on something made out of iron, protects the aluminum from corroding in entirety. Um, so that oxide layer, um, which is corrosion, protects the aluminum coin from corrosion. Um, but um, if we uh, eliminate that oxide layer or kind of remove it, um, the aluminum coin can be corroded very easily and very quickly. Um, so what I have here are just some examples of different aluminum coins um, that have been used um, in, around the world. So we got a couple just kind of tokens. Um, over here we have some tax tokens from different U.S. states, Colorado and Washington. Um, we have a coin from Italy, um, from Spain, from Austria, uh, Poland I believe, from, from China, um, from France. Um, from East Caribbean states. Um, I think this one might be from Lebanon um, and from Japan. Um, so lots and lots of different countries, much more than I have represented here, have used aluminum coins over the time. Um, um, and let me just kind of introduce what we're going to do for our experiment today. Um, we're going to use the same uh, acid that we used uh, last week, the muriatic acid. Um, and the reason we're using this is because it has um, hydrochloric acid in it. Now, this hydrochloric acid um, will, when, co when combined with aluminum, will very quickly, will not react at first, 
because it has to kind of eat through that oxide layer. But as soon as it gets through that oxide layer, it will react very quickly with the aluminum this, that no longer has a protective layer on it. So um, when we add the, hy the, hydro the hydrochloric acid, the diluted hydrochloric acid to the uh, aluminum, um, at first there won't be anything. Um, but then after a few seconds, then it will start to react and it will react very quickly. And the aluminum will um, combine with the chloride. So we'll have aluminum with chlorine and we'll have hydrogen gas um, that will just be bubbling and bubbling. So we're going to do this experiment in glass like we did last week. We're going to do it in a jar. And what I've done is I've cut up some aluminum coins. Um, the only reason I cut them up was to kind of give us more surface area. And uh, when we combine this to our jar, um, we'll watch uh, the reaction. So I'll go outside and we'll get this set up and we'll get going. Okay guys, um, got my jar set up here. Um, I kind of got it uh, over an overflow pan just in case it uh, overflows for us. Um, I don't think I'm going to need too much of the acid in here, but um, we'll add it here and we'll watch. So, uh, as you guys can see, uh, at first it didn't uh, react very much, you know, pretty quick we had a few, little bit of bubbling and then all of a sudden there was a lot of bubbling and then you get a lot of this kind of gray and big bubbles and it's kind of dying off now and just getting rid of the rest of the aluminum and, and the liquid is now this dark gray just full of the aluminum in the in the solution. Um, but I think it might just go on like this for a while but we won't uh, keep watching it forever. So basically what I want you to take from this is um, you know it's only been the last 110 years we've used aluminum coins because um, it is difficult to have these different metals and like aluminum and and use them uh, but um, the only reason we're able to use aluminum coins or aluminum for any um, different application is because it forms that little layer of oxide and we get rid of that layer of oxide and it can corrode very easily. But thanks for watching. Have a great night.